All right, here we are in a beautiful Newport Beach, Costa Mesa day, looking at a really cool and very rare 1945 Ford half-ton pickup. This particular truck's got a neat little story. We're going to walk around and tell it to you. Uh, part of a collection here in Costa Mesa, Newport Beach area, where the owner insists everything works and they're drivable. So with that said, we're going to tell you a little bit of the history on the truck. This particular truck sat in the uh, Henry Ford Museum for over 30 years in its original condition. Uh, later on, it went to the Thomas Edison Museum and spent some time there before it was sold to a gentleman who uh, took it through a full body off rotisserie style restoration. Um, uh, so it's a Dearborn Award winner. It's an AACA senior winner. Um, from there, the owner, the, the owner that has it now, really, like I said, likes to drive his thing. So he did some updating. He also act, likes to add a lot of factory accessories and that kind of thing and a little bit of vintage horsepower. Um, but uh, what a neat little truck. They were only available in one color in 1945. And 1945 was right near the uh, end of the war. And they were preparing for the end of the war, World War II. Uh, trucks hadn't been built for years, and America was really looking for trucks. So they produced very few 1945 pickups. Um, a lot of them were in one ton. There's a lot less of them in half tons, but they were available in village green, and that's it. And you'll also notice that the lack of bright work on it, they did not do a lot of chrome or anything like that because uh, of the shortage, of the metal shortages on it. So you'll see blacked out bumpers, so on and so forth. Uh, but as we walk around, we're going to tell you a little bit more. Um, neat little antenna topper here. Um, again, all the bright works, you know, from the factory, it would have been that way. Nice little wood uh, sideboards were put on it. It does have the original steel fenders on it. The bed is an updated bed, one of the uh, reproduction beds, because it just had too much work apparently at the time during the restoration to do that, um, to use the original bed. Has a very rare uh, spare tire lock here. He looks for everything um, that he can find that would have been a factory ex period accessory and, and usually generally installs him on his cars because he likes to show them and take them to events and stuff. Um, white wall tires. Just the paint on this is just beautiful. They've actually, since it won the Dearborn, he wants a more show quality finish. So they hand rubbed and polished this and took all the, uh, most of the orange peel out of it, so on and so forth, that kind of thing. Another period accessories added up here are some early Ford uh, style driving lights. Again, blacked out uh, with no bright work on them. Step back here and let's take a look. Beautiful day here in Newport Beach. What a cool looking truck. Underneath the hood is where we get fun. He's hopped up. It has the actual original matching number engine underneath the hood. Um, we'll spend some time underneath the hood and we'll let you hear this run and so on and so forth. Um, you may have already heard it run just a little bit. Underneath the hood is the original matching number engine and transmission. However, the engine itself has been uh, updated with a Scott blower on it, uh, Canadian aluminum heads, 60 over, three quarter cam. And we'll spend a little bit more time under the hood. The transmission's the original transmission that's been uh, completely gone through with uh, later style 48 gears with a synchro second and third. So again, drive it. Um, but you're looking at a really nice finish. We took the truck, pictures of the truck in the shade this morning, because uh, sometimes they just, uh, colors and cameras, so on and so forth, make it a little bit tough. But you're getting a pretty good feel here. The video camera is pretty much uh, real feel, so to speak. Again, likes his accessories and stuff. It has a, uh, this one originally had a rubber mat in it. Now it's got a German square weave carpet in it. They actually, when they did the interior of the truck tour, updated it. Um, they put that uh, sound deadener up in the headliner and everything before the headliner was put in. So sun visors, a clock was added to the dash here. This was a base truck, so it never really had a heater. Now it has a heater in it. Uh, the Columbia two-speed in the back, I don't think I mentioned yet. Neat little Columbia two-speed shifter, but everything, again, is functional. Uh, little cooling fan on the dash. This radio has been converted by Hot Rod Electric, so it's actually functional. Uh, you'll see the boost gauge for the blower. We'll get some of this on the driver's side, too. <laughs> Neat little truck, um, but he really, when he takes his vehicles out, 
he likes people to pay attention to all the little things on him because he pays attention to the little things. Um, you gotta like the look of those wheels with the deluxe hubcaps and the uh, uh, the non bright work uh, beauty rings on it. Yep, has a Columbia two speed in the back. So um, that's all been updated. That's a custom fit thing because they weren't available for these. Um, all the controls and everything are uh, uh, where they would have been on the factory on a later model car or an earlier one. Tailgate. Step back, give you a look here. We don't have anybody that can hop in the truck and, and share it with you, but that uh, that big light in the back in the center here, if you go to Spud's Garage, is a uh, actually a stoplight. Um, that lights up like a third brake light. All the bed wood's been redone. It has kind of a uh, little bit of body color hue to it. Don't know if that's how they would have done it. Also the wood trim on the back here is the same way. Um, tailgate chains are factory. Again, non, non bright work uh, tail light covers there. Step back and let you take a look here. What a sweetheart very rare very few of these trucks were built um, you'll see 46 is around totally different though because it's 45 anyway we get in the driver's side here all body color interior um, headliner seat leather seat trim German square weave carpet um, we're actually going to have this old girl running when we fire it up uh, for the, uh, we'll let you hear the exhaust and everything after we've done the engine, we'll fire it up underneath the hood here. I'm going to hop in here. Neat little thing here on the seat, pardon the lighting there, uh, Ford Motor Company, uh, 45 Ford pickup. It was a letter limited quantity of 1945 pickups will be produced. The following specifications are um, Anyway, this will have a picture of this at Spud's garage It was an actual Ford press release all the gauges have obviously been worked and you know, they Spent time on that all updated to run the uh, systems you'll see the uh, boost gauge we talked about the little factory heater controls here Start button it has a, obviously you're seeing a 40 Ford steering wheel on here We're gonna put it in neutral Flip it on We're gonna go over the gauges again. Everything's got to work Fuel gauge is a little low we know it works Temp gauge working like it's supposed to there on the low between cold and normal. We just got back from a photo shoot with this too. Oil pressure gauge working, charge gauge working. For remembering what a radio works. You can see the little speaker covers down here on the side behind the kick panels. So anyway, we're thinking you get the idea. We'll hop out, invite you in. We'll spend a little time underneath the hood and up on the lift. All right, the fun part here, we'll get underneath the hood. Really neat flatty underneath the hood here. Um, we probably covered some of it when we did the walk around here, but we're going to give you a little bit more detail underneath the hood here. Um, it has a 60 over flathead V8. It is the original stamped VIN number of this truck. So is the transmission. Um, it has a uh, Scott blower on it, H&H &H Scott blower. It has a... Uh, NOS Canadian aluminum head straight out of the box on it has a oiling system on it a lot of neat little things he's handmade all the pulleys for the uh, blower and the front end here has a uh, Scott Drake uh, updated sealed bearing in the uh, fan drive there but all these pulleys are handmade on here or machined um, this thing just gets with it has a Columbia two-speed axle in it You'll see the oil, it has been upgraded with electronic ignition, coil modernized ignition in it, um, fuel pump. You'll see that hand, that fuel line is all hand done. The firewall is very nice on this. Notice the neat little oil can down here. Has a uh, courtesy light that would have been uh, factory style. We just turned it on there for you. Early speed uh, air filter on it. 
dual exhaust with glass backs, Columbia two-speed axle. I know I already said that. Here's where the uh, uh, 2013 uh, National First Prize Antique Club of America, a, a, <coughs> excuse me, AACA. I'll get it out. We're going to do another car that had a different signification. Also Dearborn. Yeah, also Dearborn, right. The owner standing here, he helps me out with that a lot. Uh, the battery is actually an Optima in a Ford case, so it looks stock. It has a windshield wiper option on it that works. Everything, he insists everything works. New uh, dual Stromberg 97 carbs on it. This thing's just dialed in and runs great. His uh, curator here, Jeff at Hot Rod Electric, makes sure these things are just running and drive down the road. He wants to drive every car. Um, Back here, the level of detail that Jeff spends on these. This is the original data uh, VIN tag of the truck that would have been on the glove box, but when we went inside, we showed you it has a clock and uh, it had to be moved outside here. Um, level of detail, again, very nice. This is a hopped up little baby right here and it runs good. You've already seen portions of the video where we're zipping around. Um, he's gonna fire it up so we can listen to it. We'll go to the back. Barely even hear this thing run. Heck, why not, right? Ah, ah. Anyway, we're thinking you get the idea. Hang on to the rest of the video. We'll go up here. Let you see it from both sides. All right, there you have it. Hang on to the rest of the video. We got it up on the lift here like we promised. I actually do this portion of the video before I do the walk around, so uh, it's kind of pre-review and photo shoot, but uh, gives us a pretty good feel so we can talk about it as we walk around it too when I do it first, which is kind of neat. Get a chance to study it a little bit. Um, very rare to see the undercarriage of a 45 because there wasn't many built. Anyway, the owner has uh, upgraded and uh, custom fit a, a Columbia 2-speed in it to go along with the hopped up horsepower in it. So it has a Columbia 2-speed that's fully functional. That's not a cheap date. That's quite expensive to do this kind of conversion. But he's actually taken the mounts off of the earlier, you know, where it would have typically mounted on earlier cars and uh, made it fit this, retrofitted it to it very nice with the uh, factory sh style shocks on it. You'll see that it has all the uh, cloth wiring here in the back. Uh, the bed itself is a reproduction bed only because they got beat up so bad over the years. Um, you know, imagine that's probably where all the fenders, the rear fenders and the front fenders are all factory uh, 45 steel. So I don't know that you can even get, I think there were slight subtle differences. Uh, we can check into that, but uh, uh, original, you can see where they've done it. They actually have a pretty nice lip from the factory. When it does, it uh, allows these to be a little bit flimsy. So they actually uh, reinforced it in some areas, which is pretty typical up in here. Uh, but you're looking at uh, Henry steel fenders front and back on it. I've looked at them all. Give you a good overview of this car right here. Leaf Springs um, has all new dual exhaust on it. Sounds great. You've heard that by now. Nothing like a uh, flathead V8 with glass packs on it, hopped up uh, Schneider cam Scott blower, H&H &H Scott blower under the hood. Anyway, uh, cruising along here, he's got all the uh, emergency brake cables are hooked up like they're supposed to, which is kind of neat. We talked about the cloth wiring. The running boards are uh, 
reproduction fiberglass because at the time of the restoration they weren't making the steel ones yet. I think somebody molded them. But uh, the, the owner has a set of replacement steel running boards. They're painted flat, flat black on the top so it'd be easy to put in the steel ones if it bothered you. But they are included with it. Here, there's a fuel fill out of the bottom of the tank. It actually has a helper pump to uh, give it a little bit of juice. We've actually driven this car up to Big Bear out of SoCal here. Morro Bay. And Morro Bay. Um, Bakersfield. Bakersfield. You got him over here to tell me where this thing's been everywhere. They drive it. It's been out in 117 17 degree weather, hot days. Uh, the transmission is completely uh, gone through and rebuilt. It's the original matching number, and I probably already told you that. Again, I'm not there yet, but uh, um, there's the original transmission that's been gone through, so it's the original transmission of the car with the stamp, you know, the factory VIN on it. But they went through it and did the diamond cut gears like they would have had in 1948, so they modernized the internals of the transmission on it. Um, all the linkages and stuff has been gone through here. Master cylinder, you'll see this is the, the bottom side of the factory floor pan here, but clearly a body off restoration. Uh, bottom side of the matching number uh, engine in here, so it's got the VIN stamped on the block. It's pretty rare to have both components original to the truck, especially something this rare. All the brakes are good, working order. Kind of has big and little on it, tire size wise. Reverse and direction here, kind of give you a feel. No, the light's a little odd from down here. Anyway, give us a call. You're at the end of the video. Um, we appreciate you hanging around. Give us a call at Spud's Garage. Never any pressure. Fun. Too much fun. Again, the Columbia is all functional. There you go. Go to spudsgarage.com. Thanks for listening to me.